Our first speaker today is traditional Aino of Makati, Dai Stokes. Dai has travelled throughout Australia talking to all levels of government and repeating the same thing that Makati TOs have always said no. Yeah, um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming here this morning. Um, that's what I wanted to see, a big support from everyone. Um, it's all about our country. Yeah, um, I travelled on my speaking tour, that was my big tour. I spoke about this nuclear waste. We don't want that rubbish in our country. Yeah. We still don't want it, like for our future generation, we don't want them to live with cancers. We don't want our kids to grow up in that sickness. That we don't want this waste dump in our country. And we'll always say that we don't want it. We don't want to spoil our country. I'm one of the traditional owners too, through my grandfather. My father's mother, his country that way, and my country. So I can't help it, so I have to stand up for my right and talk strong. Please welcome Dr. Jim Green. The government and the NLC say that this nuclear waste dump will be safe, but that is wrong. Nuclear waste is dangerous because it emits radiation and radiation is a special type of poison and it causes all sorts of cancers. This is very toxic stuff that comes directly from the reactors and it contains all the break-up products from the uranium in the, in the Lucas Heights reactors. There would be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trucks coming through the Barclay. Over periods of time you would have thousands of trucks coming through the Barclay. These people have come here today to give us support and making our voices strong. Does Tennant Creek really want to become the nuclear waste dump of Australia? I live not far from Muckety and I certainly don't like the idea of raising my children next to a nuclear waste dump. Well, Wendy, we feel, the we feel exactly the same. The children are our future. How will the waste be transported to the site? Good point. We only have to cast our mind back to that um, cyanide spillage near Butu Creek. What happened there? You know, all that cyanide spilling into that beautiful country. They had to close the road and everything. This is our country. We are sick of the government dumping on our indigenous people. Our people have the poorest health statistics in this country. And what do they want to do? put a rubbish dump, a nuclear waste dump in the middle of us all. They've been eroding our culture since they've come to this country, the government. And then now they want to put that thing right in our heartland. Like putting a spear through people's hearts. So I'd like to invite Donna Jackson to read a statement from the Chief Minister. The Territory Government is strongly opposed to a national nuclear waste dump being established in the Northern Territory and will continue to lobby the Federal Government for support on this matter. In July, I wrote to the Prime Minister to re reiterate my Government's continued opposition to the siting of a national nuclear waste dump in the Northern Territory and requested the Prime Minister to urgently repeal all laws overriding the Territory's legislation prohibiting a national nuclear waste dump being sited in the NT. <laughs> And I'm one of the original owners of the North Carolina Land Trust, one of the Mogadi Land Trust. We start really on that uh, the responsibility, take a responsibility on the land, what all last generation will leave for us, all the people who all passed away now. So it's time for us to take responsibility for the land. Uh, where I live, um, it's uh, one of the proposed dump sites. Weekends we take our kids, we show them bush tucker, we get bush tucker for them. And there's water there. And I always tell a lot of my family, send the kids to school every day so they can grow up and fight like what we're doing now. 
to keep our country clean. When the Howard government passed the law that said they can put the nuclear dump in the Territory, the science minister at the time, Brendan Nelson, said, why can't people in the middle of nowhere have a nuclear waste dump? What's really good about this campaign, I think, is that people from all of those four places are working together to say, not only we don't want it in our backyard, but we don't want it anywhere in the Northern Territory. We really have to let the government know that we're watching closely what they're doing, and we're not going to stand by and let them come here and just force this nuclear waste dump on the Territory. Hello, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for that, everybody in here. Why for this meeting? We will we put them on a newspaper and a news. Everyone, thank you. Our former MLA, Elliot McAdam, is a man that stuck with us from the start to the end. I come from this country too, not too far. I was born from that country, not too far. My thing is, continue to fight the Commonwealth Government. Get them to repeal the Commonwealth Nuclear Waste Management Act because it's rubbish. I believe, and I still believe to the day I die, that the process is flawed, it is corrupt, and it's contemptuous. The NLC acted dishonorably, acted contemptuously against the people of the darkness. I note that the position taken by the NT government in opposition to the imposition of a radioactive waste facility on the Northern Territory. Labor is committed to the platform it took to an election last year. Yours sincerely, Warren Snowden, member for Lingiari. This is what it's all about, you know, everyone getting together, working together, continuing the fight against this crazy nuclear waste dump site. We are uniting, we are all coming together because we love country and want to keep it clean, safe and strong for our children in the future. <laughs>